Welcome back, everyone. We are here again in Hogwarts Legacy in part 21 of our Ravenclaw playthrough with Susie Q. And today we're going to be helping out Deke. So I saw we have a side quest that he wants to talk to us about something. If we have time, there's another goblin, I believe, in Hogsmeade. And we may go help them out. But if there's yeah, a goblin near the bridge, something about a biscuit, there's not time for that. Then we will just be going on. We've got a couple. I don't know what these ones are. I guess they're just still side quests, but they're a little bit different. They got a different icon. So we'll probably either, yeah, we'll meet Natty in Lower Hogsfield. Or maybe we'll speak with Sebastian. We'll see where we're at. But first, let's go and talk with Deke. Because we have play to the house elf. Deke wants to speak to us in the room of requirement. So... Let's head off to the room of requirement. All right, Deke, what you got? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> that about? Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tubbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tubbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tubbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. I don't know that we still have the item that we actually enchanted. What does this new area look like? Ah, a beach. I don't remember if I actually identified. I picked up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, apparently we did not identify it. Those look like fancy gloves. We'll go with that for a little while. Now, where are we going? All right, let's go put our flying mounts in the other one. Give them a feeder. some new upgrades then. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we still need a, a graph horn. I don't know who gives me those. This one, you need a graph horn. This one, now that one we can do. Now we need a graph horn. This one, Fwooper, Fwooper, and Fwooper. So we need a Fwooper and a graph horn thing. Yeah, do we mark the area on your map. I don't know. I think we need a hat. I'm not liking this whole outfit. Let's fix it. Yeah, that's better. All right. Now Deke's friend needs some help. Where's Deke's friend? Find the cave. Here, I suppose I should head inside. Isn't there another guy? Come 
us it feels. Yeah, she does not like spiders very much Revelio. at all. I don't know why. Maybe if they told us about her backstory. Lumos. That way everybody can see a little better. Of course, there's going to be a spider. Confringo. I'm not sure how the spider webs stand up to that. Lumos. I figure the cutting one would be the one to use. But the cutting one does not do anything. Tobbs, you missed your quota by three files. You know what that means. It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of seamless or Seamus's shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you will be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for the next shipment, it, I'd best see bloodied bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota, plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food privileges. Tom's monster is awful. Yep. Lots of wizards definitely seem to treat Tops? the house elves very Tops. poorly. Deke sent me. Are you in here? More spider webs. Confringo. No, the spiders are trying to attack me, but I'm not going that way yet. That's all. Just a useless uniform. You never know if those wall spiders. Oh, yeah. See the the ceiling spiders too. They won't attack you on the ground. You're a clever guy. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, there's quite a few spiders in here. Let's see why. Uh oh. There's a big old spider. Guess we're gonna have to fight that one. Uh yep, here comes the boss battle. Let's go. Alrighty. Feet. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, they weren't hard; they were just annoying. Oh. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. There. Now you did. I didn't get to read that note because that dude popped up. Is it in our inventory, though? Let's see. Should be. Right, Tob's note. Master, if you are looking for Tob's, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tob's hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow, and please be careful of the spiders. Did we, didn't we read this one? Yeah, we read that one. Okay. So we got that way to go. And... Rebellion. I think he could have cleared out the spider webs. Search for Tobbs. This looks like a boss battle room. So let's put on some boss battle spells. Yep. Yes, I see it. Big little spider. I'm gonna attack it now, please.
healing time and healing time. <laughs> yep, we'll retry. We're doing all right until I got confused. Yeah, better gear with higher stats. I'm sure that would help. I think I've got the best gear on. I mean, we could have gone back. No, we did. We upgraded everything we could. Oh, we could set better stuff. Because, yeah, we've got all these potions that we never seem... Well, I never seem to use. We got this. Uh, yeah, let's start off with one of these. And do the whole thing again. Yeah. that came none too soon. Huh? Yeah, that battle went so much better when I actually remembered to use all of my potions that I've been crafting. <laughs> Jumping takes down her, her spell. Oh, there he is. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Master, if you find Tob's body, the big spider was too much. Tob's had failed you and deserves his, this punishment. Tob's feels weak and sleepy. Tob's must. Guess he couldn't finish Poor it. Poor Tob's. That is pretty Left sad. Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> Lumos. That table looks familiar. Seems yeah. I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Well, yeah. yeah. Skyrim door. So, this was the way in, slash out. Yep, we gotta go tell Deke. Poor Deeky Deke. Your friend is... No more. Equipping better gear. Yeah, well thanks for that tip. Alright, well there is a monster spot. Well, not monster, a magical creature spot right over here. I think we might go over there. If we can get down easily. What is... Oh, moon calves. Yeah, we don't need moon calves. Alright then, we'll just head straight back to the room of requirement and talk to Deke. Yep, sorry Deke. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke. But Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this. 
alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Yep. Poor Deke. Alright, let's go... Talk to... Who are we talking to? No, over here. What's this? Talk to... In the shadow, speak with Sebastian. Yeah, let's go talk to Sebastian. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh yeah, I wanted to check this out. It's pretty cool. Floating pumpkins. Jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know if I'd want bats flying over me while I'm eating, though. That'd be kind of gross. This bat poop, or guano, is one of the worst smelling things in the world. It's kind of poisonous to breathe, I'm pretty sure. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything uh, to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. Okay. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Can I get in on this conversation? I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. You don't want a Dark Arts cure for her. Yep, Ominous not this time. Right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Um... I don't think she is. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Okay. Well, that was pretty quick. So I guess we'll go talk to Natty now. I think she might have an actual quest for us. Alright, let's talk to Natty. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Go talk to Sebastian again? All right. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Didn't we get all the evidence we needed? Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? 
Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Yep, I knew this would be more when involved. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Harlow that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Rebellion. Archie Bickle! He would not have done this. Hebridian Black Scale. Hebridian Black is a large dragon. Yeah, we know about that. Oh, is that that Someone scale? Someone came I here guess? looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. I just did Revelio. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! The bad I guys thought we would have found Rebellio. Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves, prepare for it. Where did he come from? didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. <sighs> yeah, imagine those wolves would not have done well for him. Revelio. Well, there's this. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? You know, he was likely Archie's. running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. I just did it. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. She just ran right I wonder through what that Archie deer. saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestral. Oh, hello, Thestral. 
No. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. They're hard I found to catch. comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was okay. a long time ago in some way. Come on. But in back, ways, back, back. It seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. I had to he catch a thestral. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep Rebellion. moving. We must find Archie. You show me thestrals and expect me not to go catch one? What are you thinking? I guess we're just going here now? Oh. Hush now. There's a Merlin trial. Is hiding in the bushes help? It is as I feared. They have Archie. No, be on not your guard. There can be no mistakes. Come on. Take your chest and you go down. And are you the last one? Looks like they got what they deserved. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Go lightly. Yep. It means there might shadow. be bad guys inside. Avelia. What about chests? Are there any chests inside? I don't see any. Probably quieter to go down the steps. Yeah, I hear some guys. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. Oh. 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 There's another guy over here. Or a girl, maybe? Oh. Another guy. Can't really say, but you're petrified now. Ooh, that's a bunch of guys. Hmm. Any way to get them all? I'm guessing not. Maybe. They seem kind of dumb. This guy, let's run over there. I just saw that my buddy get petrified. Let's run over. Had enough. No, no, no! Think so. 
Is that everybody? They got what they valued. Yep, I guess that's everybody. I need your help, Archie. Archie Bickle. No. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Yeah, because this Hello, is definitely Laura. a job for students. Yeah, I'm not much of a fan, if you hadn't noticed, of the unlocking. Now I'm right. Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Is he following us now, or...? No. Oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. What do we Your get? husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Yeah, he's already it after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Is that your not way of saying worry, we don't Mrs. get a reward? Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Now I what? must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Sure. Oh, and there's a shop over here. We can sell some of our junk. Yes. I hope to see I you again sometime. That's going to be Aren't enough for this part. All those so next time, we've got the main quest line to get on with. We've got to go talk to Sebastian some more. We've got, well, nothing here, but there are some on the map. Some small side quests to get done with. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and tell you if you I did, mean, you know what to do, and I do hope to see you in the next one. So, thanks for watching. Bye.